we're coming to love making. What fragrance would you reach for? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. All things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, I love for you to go ahead and take 2.5 seconds, consider hitting the subscribe button while you're at it, press the notification bell so you never miss a video over here, and go ahead and connect with me over on Instagram. In today's video, I have 10 fragrances, actually I have 11. Girl, just keep it real. I have 10 fragrances plus a fragrance that I couldn't decide so I had to put it in here anyway, okay? That would serve for 10 different dates. You know I'm obsessed with TikTok and yes, I did get this idea from TikTok and it's super fun. So if you wanna see 10 fragrances for 10 different dates, please continue to watch. All right, here we go, we are jumping in. We are going in no particular order. We have questions here. I'm gonna try and keep everything in line and I'm going to try <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay on task, you guys, okay? But I do have a quick 2.5. A quick 2.5 right out the gate. I have to tell you guys what has been going on. I have been traveling, okay? I have been living my best life. Girl, what are you doing? I'm just living life right now. I, that's what's been going on. But I am here. I feel like I have not filmed in forever, okay? I might be a little rusty, but we are getting things done. I am back, I am focused, I am ready, and I have missed you guys. Okay, now that I have that out of the way. So 10 different fragrances for 10 different dates. What fragrance, okay, and, and let me make this a mention too. These are sexy fragrances, okay? Cause you already know, say it with me. If it's not sexy, I don't even want it in my collection. 10 fragrances, all sexy here. The first fragrance is the first date. Sheree, it's the first date. What fragrance are you reaching for during the springtime? Remember guys, this is spring edition. I am going to reach for, this is Donna Born in Roma by Valentino. I absolutely love this fragrance. Yes, I've been talking about it a lot, you guys. Okay, I like what I like, I know what I like, and if I was going on a first date in today's time, right now, 2022 in the springtime, I would reach for this and I would wear it day or night or evening. Moderate when it comes to longevity projection. Actually, it's pretty long lasting, I will say. I get a good eight hours out of it. I spray extremely heavy, eight to 10 to 12 to 25 sprays. It's my fragrance, I spray how I want, it is what it is. I do layer it with a nice body cream, something of that caliber that would match really well with it. And it does help to, you know, preserve the fragrance and help it to project and it helps with longevity. Not that this fragrance needs it. A few of the notes inside of this fragrance is black currant. It is beautiful, it has a beautiful, sexy, bourbon vanilla note in here, jasmine, cashmere, and it's a beautiful fragrance. I move on. Our second date is a date that's going on a picnic. So he's called. Hello? Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to meet later on because, you know, I got a picnic for us to go to. Oh my God, what guy is planning you a picnic? He's a keeper, just keep him, he's a real one. Anyways, oh, okay, Um, let me check my calendar real quick. Don't ever be desperate. Don't be so thirsty that you're like, oh yeah, I can make it, Say, so let you check. Um, Let's see, wait. You know what, is four o'clock okay? Because I, you know, I am kind of tied up until like about 3.30ish, but I could be ready by four. Oh, that works. Okay, so what fragrance are you reaching for? I had to give you a picture and paint the story. I am going to reach for YSL Mon Paris. This is beautiful, it's got a lot of berries in it. I told you it's a very berry-esque fragrance. It's not loud, it's not in your face. It's soft, it's pretty. It's um, very, you know, day appropriate. Uh, it's sexy, but it's a pretty girl kind of sexy. I think I spoke about this in the pretty girl fragrance as well. It can definitely fit the bill for that. It's a beautiful fragrance. A few of the notes, you guys. It's a fruity fragrance, as I said, and it's kind of playful even. It's a little bit, um, you know, don't take yourself so seriously, so it's perfect for an outdoor picnic. A uh, raspberry, bergamot, pear, orange flower, it has jasmine, peony, patchouli. It is a beautiful fragrance. So I would choose this to wear to a picnic date. I move on. The next one is a fancy dinner date. Now this can be, use your imagination. Where do you go? Me, dinners. Uh, like I said, rooftop, a play, uh, a theater, a museum. It could be whatever you want, a nice lounge, but it's somewhere fancy, somewhere where you're gonna pull out a nice dress, a gown, a pantsuit, whatever it is that you're choosing to wear these days, okay? She's probably gonna pull out something white, gold, something, okay, almost like this, but you know, a little bit more glamorous. And I would reach for, during the springtime right now, I would reach for Siberian Rose, and that is by Fragrance Dubois. This was gifted to me a couple of months ago, or maybe even last year, I cannot keep up. 
It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It is sexy. Every single time I wear this, I receive loads of compliments. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, it's very long lasting. It's in your face, but it's not in your face, but it definitely holds weight and it definitely has a presence. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to be seen, noticed, <laughs> who wants to be smelled before you even get through the entire door. You know, you might just be walking through the path when you're like, who is that? Oh, that? Oh, that's me, darling. That is Siberian Rose. This is a beautiful fragrance. Let me give you a few of the notes inside of here. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on notes, you guys, okay? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you can wear this day or night. It's got two bro cinnamon. It's got a little bit of everything. Pink pepper, ylangy lang. It's got leather, it's got amber, it's got patchouli. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sexy fragrance. You cannot, okay, go wrong with Siberian Rose on a nice, formal, dressy, fancy date night. I move on. I know you guys thought I was gonna say Coco Chanel or Coco Noir, nope. I'm switching things up, hello. <laughs> okay, our next one is for a movie date. Now I can speak from this from true experience for a movie date. A movie date I am reaching for, remember I told you guys if you follow the channel and if you follow me when I went on that date to uh, see Batman with my guy, I wore Madison Avenue, remember? I wore that and I was telling you I received compliments, I was in the theater, I was reaching for stuff. It had been about six hours, I was still able to smell it and I was able to smell it like strongly on me too. I did over spray I mean let's just be honest she oversprays everything a few of the notes inside of Madison Ave it's a floral fragrance fruity notes it has apple blackberry uh, bergamot it has jasmine magnolia it has patchouli praline it's a beautiful fragrance it's sexy it's um it's pretty girl but it's got some depth to it. It's so appropriate. Oh God, should this be my scent of the day? See, that's why I don't take the cap off because I get lost. This is such a beautiful fragrance. A lot of you, a lot of you told me you're like, girl, I have that, I love it, it's really good. And you gave me so many other ones to get my nose on. So yes, there will be a part two sampling of the Bond Line fragrances coming. Hold on, that's on the way. But this one right here is a beautiful fragrance. I actually wore this on a movie date and it was phenomenal. Like I said, I got tons of compliments. I smelled it the entire time. It wasn't in your face. It wasn't off-putting. It did not leave. It didn't play a disappearing act. It gave a great longevity. So I would highly recommend this one. Madison Ave for that date night at the movies. I move on. Our next date is a double date. Who double dates? If you double date, hit the like button. If you don't, it's okay, hit the subscribe button. If you're like, girl, I am just trying to be booed up, okay? It's all right, keep coming back to the channel. I'm gonna be sharing stuff all year long. You guys, we have a whole segment coming on the channel where we're gonna be talking about girl chat. Somebody requested that and I was like, I love this idea. Submit your questions, girl chat, relationship, marriage, fitness, lifestyle, you name it, we are going to talk about it. Yes, fragrance and girl chat, look for it to come soon. Anyways, on a double date, I'm reaching for Burberry Her. This is beautiful, I told you guys I could not get enough of it. Absolutely, a little, I can't talk. Absolutely obsessed with it for the uh, Sephora sale. I had to add to my cart Burberry Her Intense with the cherry note. Sexy, okay, and this is sexy too. And if you were gonna be on a, a double date, it wouldn't be too in your face, it wouldn't be off-putting, but you would definitely smell pleasant, you would smell pretty, another pretty girl fragrance. Um, your guy, if he had got close to you or you had you know, walked past for maybe a bowling date or something, and you walked past him and he got a whiff of you, he'd be like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? So it is sexy. Few of the notes inside of here, you guys, is black currant, mandarin, jasmine, musk, vanilla, amber, patchouli. It is a beautiful fragrance, I move on. Oh, okay. <laughs> this next day, I definitely want you to leave me a little bit of a story time or hit the like button if you can relate. This is called the makeup day. You know how you and your guy or you and your spouse, your boo, your bae, whoever, okay? You getting that spat and you're just like, ugh, he on my nerves right now or she's on my nerves right now. And you're like, okay, well, I'm tired, you know. I'm Okay, okay, you win or I win or whoever. And you go, let's settle this like adults but not just on the couch, let's settle it in the So what fragrance would you reach for for that makeup date? I wanna hear from you. What fragrance would you reach for for that makeup date? I'm choosing Killian. Let's settle this like adults in the bedroom. I mean, the name says it all. It says let's settle it, and it tells you where to settle it at. Say less, enough said, enough said. A few of the notes inside of this, you guys, is bergamot fig, it's vanilla, it's cedar, sandalwood, or it's violet, amberwood. It is a sexy fragrance. It has a woody, powdery finish. It's fruity, it's vanilla. It has a little bit of a green note in it. It is sexy, okay? And the name says it all. I move on. I don't have to spend a lot of time there. The name says it all. I move on. Now, it's a lunch date. 
it could be a guy or girl, somebody in the office, it could be your boo, your bae, somebody called you up and was like, what time are you taking lunch or what time are you going to lunch, whatever it is. And you're like, you know what, I'm gonna probably head out about 11, 30, 12. It's like you wanna meet for a lunch date. What fragrance would you reach for? Or what fragrance would you top off with? You Maybe you're already at work or maybe you already knew about the lunch date. I would reach for something feminine, pretty. I would probably be wearing it to work so I wouldn't want anything too invasive, too in your face. I'm going to reach for this one here. This is by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. This is Femi Burrell. That is this one here. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a beautiful, classy, elegant, sophisticated fragrance. Perfect for work, perfect for church, brunch, any of those type of occasions. It's a very ladylike, classy fragrance. And it has violet, white floral, iris. It has rose. It has some woody notes, earthy notes in it. It's floral. It's a chaper floral. Okay, it has jasmine, orange blossom patchouli leaves and it is absolutely beautiful. Yes, this is classy. Now here's what I'm gonna say about this. This is not that sexy. It's a little sexy in a first date. You know, I'm not trying to take it there, but you know, when I walk past, you can get a whiff of me and you might even do a double, double look. You know, it is one of those, but it's not like settle it in the boardroom kind of sexy, if you know what I mean. I'm just saying, that's enough. I'ma leave it right there. Do it, it what you will, what you will. I move on, I move on. Now for those of you that's like, grow, we are not getting out. We just have little ones, we have babies. We, for whatever reason, are just really not going out like that. It's okay, it's okay. I am all inclusive, okay? I have something for everybody. Even if you're staying in, you're not really choosing to go out but you're gonna do like a date night in the house. I do a lot of those. I love dating. I'll date anywhere in the house, at the movies, <laughs> shopping, brunch. Just say it's a date night and I'm there. That's just what I love to do. I love dating. I told you guys I am a hopeful, hopeless romantic. I just root and love love. Anyway, so if I was staying in the house, which I have many nights, and I have reached for Love is in the Air by House of Siage. This is a beautiful, sexy, it's a very warm fragrance in my opinion, but you can get away with it right now. It's not too, you know, over the top that you wouldn't be able to get away with it right now. This has hearts of jasmine, cedar, patchouli, Musk, oh my God, it's good and it's pretty, oh my gosh. It's very, it's very sensual, but in a, a laid back kind of way. It's a very intimate fragrance, something you would get close and cuddle with, something that you would get, maybe uh, turn into an intimate evening with. It can definitely go from a dusk to dawn type of evening as well, or morning. It can definitely go, stay right there, I'm gonna go make you some breakfast. Oh my God, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day, you guys. Okay, another quick 2.5, and I was asking them, would you want a guy that could make you breakfast or would you want a guy that could make you dinner? What kind of guy would you want? I mean, some of you are like, bro, I got a guy that can make both. But I'm just saying, you know, remember that song, get you somebody who can do both. But if you had to have, if I had to have it, would I want my guy to be able to make me breakfast or dinner? I love breakfast. It's my favorite meal. But I think I'm gonna say dinner because I would see if he could make it sexy, like what would he come to the table with? Cause you know, I am the table and I'm coming. So what did he bring to the table? How did he prepare the table? Yes, answer that question. I wanna hear from you, 2.5. Leave it in the comment section below. I move on. Gosh, when I see you guys, it's like, I just can't stop talking. Um, okay, ooh, ooh, another one, another one. Not that I live this life. <laughs> I try to. If you watch the vlogs, you know all about that. What fragrance would you reach for to go clubbing? It's Friday night, it's Saturday night, we're going out. We got the girls, you got your guy, whoever you're going with, okay? That's your business, that has nothing to do with me. Whoever you're choosing to go clubbing with, what fragrance would you reach for? Now, I thought about myself and I said, now in today's day and time, I'm going out, I'm going clubbing. Oh, who would I go with, my girls or my guy? Oh, hmm. <laughs> you already know, I'm going with my guy. Hello, was it ever even a question? You know what I'm gonna reach for? I am going to reach for Fenty, yes, I'm gonna reach for Fenty by Riri, Rihanna. Anyways, you guys, this is good. This is sexy, remember when I first got it? I said that it kind of reminded me of Suffered Aid. I had to play with it a little bit more. Um, it's really a good fragrance. Is it groundbreaking, earth shattering? Girl, drop your last coins and go get it. No, I'm not gonna say that. Is it a nice to have in your collection? Am I happy I have it? Do I reach for it often? Did I get pleasantly surprised the more that I played with it? Yes, was it a blind buy? Yes. Did I do it for you guys? Yes. Hello, I wanted to come through. I, I was late though. But anyways, I came through, I came through. I, that's not the point, that's not the point. Here it is, rose, citrus, floral, fruity, it's tangerine, it's got some blueberry in it, you do smell that. Magnolia, musk, patchouli, it's woody. 
It's sexy. It's that song by Rihanna where she said, you need me. I just wish I could sing. God, you gave me a lot of qualities. You did not give me a singing voice. I I, he missed that when it came to me. When it came to singing, it was like, that's, that's it, that's it. I used to be able to really carry a tune and then I don't, I don't know what happened. When you don't use your gifts, you lose them. So use your gifts. Anyways, um, if I'm going clubbing, I am reaching for Rihanna Fenty. I move on. Now the final date is, <laughs> get your kids out of the room, children. Go in the other room, I'm gonna speak to your parents right quick. Anyways, um, the lovemaking date. The date is over, honey. We are home, okay? We are at the hotel. We are in the house. We're in the car. <laughs> don't even act new. Don't. Don't even act like you don't. You already know. Anyways, it's the lovemaking, okay? We're coming to lovemaking. What fragrance would you reach for? This is my Drake uh, slogan or um, statement right here. You knew what it was when you signed up. You already knew what was about to go down. You already knew what was going to happen during this vacation, this trip, this home experience, wherever the case it might be taking place. What love making fragrance are you reaching for? Now I have a combo. I thought this out well and, 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 and long and hard. And, oh God, am I about to say too much? Mm, you gotta keep it real for the people. This is a tried and true combo. I'm gonna leave it right there. This is a tried and true combo. And it did not disappoint, ladies. It did not disappoint. So if you have these, I would highly recommend giving them a try. I started with the nice exfoliate, okay? And I went in and lathered and showered with this here, which is a Brazilian um, moisturizing shower gel by Sol de Janeiro. That is this here, okay? Has this thing not been in my face the whole time? Oh, okay. This right here. And then you're gonna come out and lotion with the Bum Bum Cream, okay? This is here, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Bum Bum Cream. I will say this too. I found that this one is more moisturizing than the coconut one. I'm not gonna say the names right. The bright one and then the newest one that came out. And plus I put a little bit of vanilla um, oil drops inside of this here so it's even more rich and creamier. So then you're gonna lather lotion your entire body, the top of your feet, okay, or your foot, the bottom of it, the heel, okay, inside the crevices, like all in between here, right? You're gonna lotion it all right here. And don't forget the white toenails. I'm just saying, just a tip, but do as you wish. So that there, and then, and then, hold that thought, you're gonna come in and top it off right here with vanilla, Kayali Vanilla 28. Spray this everywhere, spray it everywhere. You can even, if you wanna be extra, spray the Sol de Janeiro um, body spray, the body mist, you can put that on as well. But it was a little bit too strong when I tried that, it was doing too much. So I hit it with this first, and then I topped it off with this. And you know, this is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I always tell you, when applied properly, Somebody just might get lost when you're wearing Tom Ford Lost Cherry. That is my love making combo. I wanna hear from you. Which fragrance would you reach for for your love making combo? It doesn't have to be a combo. I just reach for a combo because it was tried and true. I have used that and it is definitely an amazing combo. I'm gonna say that and leave that right there, but you know I wanna hear from you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I truly appreciate you. You guys know that I love to have fun with videos. I want them to be informative. At the same time, I love them to be entertaining and I want you to be able to take something away from it so go ahead and leave down in the comment section below which fragrance you would choose and for which occasion i want to hear from you i appreciate you being here until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous dwellings thanks for watching bye